Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to be making simple journals using our journal toppers, journal topper bags that we made yesterday. This is part two. But first, let's have our shout out to Mixed Media Art, Sherry, Charm, Colleen, and Norma. I appreciate each and every one of you. You could use these as an add-on journal. You've completed your journal and you just want something else for some more journaling space. You could give them as gifts. You could send them out in Happy Mail or you could simply take your bag and use it as the top of a journal decoration. Let's look inside this one. I promised you yesterday that I'm going to show you two ways in which you can use your journal toppers. I mean, what to say is two ways that you could you can bind them. One is a no-sew and one is a sew. This one happens to be the no-sew. Look how cute those brads are. They look like little buttons, don't they? I've got a little bulb safety pin with a little dangle there. I've got this fussy cut here from my porch prints. I had it ready yesterday, but we just didn't have a chance to use it. A beautiful little bow out of Sorry Silk from Crimson Heart Studios. Some flat back pearls, doilies. I've got some washi tape and I've got some lace and some net. I think this turned out spectacular. Now right here, we've got a journaling card. So I'm gonna pull it out. I did not decorate my journaling card but you definitely can, and I think it would be adorable. So it just pops right in here because we did use a glassine bag for this one right here. This is the back. I covered up the brads with this adorable little uh, scrap of the fancy paper. Now that fancy paper there came from a book entitled Vintage Re Retro Wallpaper Junk Journal Ephemera Paper. And I bought it from Amazon, and it is by C. Anders. So that's what that looks like. They're beautiful papers, and they're front and back. Rather thin paper, but it they are just beautiful. Just beautiful. All righty, so that's what that is. Now let's look inside. So inside here, there's some of that paper I just showed you. Some coffee dyed line book page some di um, a dictionary page, a digital from my, no, from chapter one papers, some more of that paper out of the book, a piece of scrap paper, some tracing, coffee dyed tracing paper, all kinds of beautiful things that you can journal on, or you could decorate, you could use them however you wish. I think it turned out wonderful. And I just covered up the brads, the end of the brads, with this little piece of scrap. Let's look at this one right here. This is the one that I sewed with my machine. So it is the same. We made this together. It's, no, we didn't. No, we did not make this together. No, we didn't make this one together or this one together. The next one we made together. And it's got the lace and the doily. It's got a butterfly, some pleated um, pattern paper, sorry silk, a bulb pin, a tassel. It's got all kinds of beautiful things. And then here's the journaling card for this one. I love this. I just love how this has turned out. So now let's look inside of this little book right here. Get that pushed down in. So this little book looks just like this. Lots of nice papers that you can write on or decorate. I think this turned out wonderful. I love using the bat journal bag toppers this way. And what a simple and easy way to make a quick little journal. Absolutely adorable. And there's that one the sewn way and the non-sewn way. All right, so I have a little tiny one. This is the one that we made together. And when we made it together, I said, oh, 
I didn't follow my own directions and I do believe I thought at the time that I put this too close to the edge because that was one of the things you weren't supposed to do is put anything too close to the left hand side well I did put it too close to the left hand side so what I did was I made it into a flip book instead so we've got the doily we've got the beautiful print some flat back pearls the sari silk the tassel the bulb pin oh my goodness and then inside here is the nice journaling card inside right there let's pop that right in there like that and then this is our flip book so it's got the same similar pages as the other two just smaller because i needed to make it into a flip book so I could use it. Okay, you get the idea. So in fact, in case you mess up and you put some decoration too close to the left-hand side, you too can make a flip book or you could glue it on top of the journal. <laughs> All right, so those are the three that I'd like to show you for my example. Now let's put two of them together. We're gonna put one together where we sew it with the machine and we're going to put one together where you don't sew it and you use brads. All right, so I've got them all ready to go. Let's see, which one do I want to do which way? I think that we better do the brads here because I'm looking at it and I think this pearl is pretty darn close for my machine foot to get past. So we'll do this one with the brads. So I'm going to pop this one right over here. Now, as you can see, I've got my little piece of paper and that's for measuring where my brads go. We decorated this together. I said at the time that I thought I'd add some more flat back pearls and I did. I put three right up here and I put one more right down there. I did add a journaling card inside of this one so it's ready to go now we just need to add our papers now this is the one that's gusseted it's like a lunch bag but mini it's gusseted and it's got a foot on it the base okay and ooh, pretty stamping right so here are my pages i've got some lined book page i've got a actual book page i've got some of that pretty decorative paper some more book page some more decorative paper, some coffee dyed tracing paper, and a book page. Alrighty, we've got that. Now what we want to do is we want to fold it in half so when we do, it fits behind our bag. Whatever size your bag is, it needs to fit back behind, just like this one does. So I'm going to take my paper clips and I'm going to paper clip this all together, all of it. Right here, all of it together. I can get one down below. That will work. Okay. Now I've got my little piece right here. It's about one inch across and it's approximately the length of my journal. I want to fold it in half. It's the same way that we did before. When we measured things, fold it in half the long way, and half one more time, and one more time. Crease it well, bring in your pencil, and mark where the creases intersect. Right here, right here, it's kind of hard to see, and right here. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to place this so it's you know going to be able to uh what do i want to say you want to bring it in it's probably going to be brought in about where that pearl is i didn't follow my own directions very well did i okay it's okay because you can see how we're going to get around it we're going to fold it and i think i want it about right there so it's hard to see um, trying to figure out how I don't want it that far in. I think we're going 
going to have to do it about right there. How far in is that? Nope, not quite that far. I'm trying to get it to where my holes, this is the fussiest part about the whole thing, my holes are going to be in the right um, spot to be able to uh, punch a hole. Because we're going to punch a hole through all of this. So I'm adding my paper clip on. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh, it's going to work. Okay. Put this one on. There we go. Pull this down if I can without ripping it. There we go. It's going to be... Okay. <laughs> I've got my hole punch here. I'm going to use a smaller one, a smaller size, placing it in here and just giving it a punch right where I've marked everything. Doing this one. And then doing this one. There we go. Wipe that all off. Just blow it off. I'll have to clean it up later. Oh, that's perfect. That's just perfect. Now, let's get our little brads out, and I need three. So, three. I'm going to use white. Um, it doesn't really say anything on there to tell you anything about it. And then I'm going to pop this right through. That. I'm going to turn my bread so when I open it up it goes the long way otherwise I think it would stick out from my journal that we're making. I think this, the ends would stick out here too far. So I'm going to make sure I turn it that way. So when I pop them open they'll be going this way. So let's do that. Opening up the brads. So this is the no so method. And it turns out so cute. It's just a little fiddly. I just wanted to make sure that I got those holes in exactly where I wanted them. Because if I didn't, then it would have ruined the whole thing, right? I have got, I think, I don't know if I have enough had some extra of this. Where did I put it? Hmm. I thought I put it somewhere. I don't know that this is wide enough. I'm looking for some extra pieces. Here's an extra piece. It's folded, but I think it'll be okay because it's definitely wide enough. So I'm going to get my little guillotine. Oh, I cut myself off a little bit of that. Maybe about there. I think that's crooked right there. I think I'd like to straighten that up a little bit. I'm going to glue that right there. And that way, it'll cover up the ends. And it won't uh, they won't come undone or anything like that. And it will secure them. So I'm just using my art glitter glue. And I'm gluing my scrap piece of paper down to take care of covering up the back side of the brats. Taking my paper clips off. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? That is absolutely adorable. Let's see how it looks when you open it up. Just like this. Got the bird. Oh my goodness. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. I love it. Okay. Now let's put together 
our one that we're going to sew. So let's see here. Here's my stack right here. And let's look at our pages. Ooh, that one's pretty, isn't it? That is a beautiful print. That came out of that book that I showed you earlier. Trace new paper, some music paper, line book page, tracing paper. Ooh, some more of that beautiful paper. And some of this. Oh, look. It's got... I'm not sure what that is. It feels like it's a napkin, but I don't remember having a napkin that color. Oh, I bet it's um, tissue paper that I glued on that to get that pretty color. All right, there we go. Now, let's pop this right onto the back. Just looking at it to see how I want that to go. You, might, you need to make sure that the papers that you're putting behind your bag cover or your bag covers your papers <clears throat> already because it's the cover of your little your little journal very simple little thing that you're making here and I can't put it that way because I'm sewing Kathy I can't put it that way I'm gonna have to put it this way okay I'm going to get the machine, or I'm going to go to my machine. I know you, a lot of you don't like listening to that machine, so I'm going to do it, and then I'll show you how it turns out. So I'm going to sew it right down here, just like that. I don't need this. I don't need this at all, because we're not putting any holes. I'm going to sew it with the machine. I better take out this right here. I almost forgot. I'm going to have to take everything back off, you guys. I need to take this out. I might have to shorten that uh, width-wise because now I'm going to shorten the the bag, the, the pocket inside the bag because I'm going to take away some of the, the width of the tag by sewing. So I'm pretty sure I'll have to make this skinnier take some off the sides alrighty I'm gonna turn it this way I think I'm ready to go you guys I'm just really making sure so that I don't mess it up okay I'll be right back and I'm gonna sew it and then I'll show you what it looks like all right so I sewed it and you can see that right there I did use black thread. I just thought that it went well. She has black trim on her dress. I did trim down this journaling card so it fits nicely right into the bag. And then let's look real quick. Oh my goodness. How beautiful and how fun to have a journal just like that. As you can see, it's very quick. It's very easy. And they turn out so beautiful, you guys. I hope you give it a try. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.